Have you ever wondered how the rich got their wealth and then kept it growing? Do you dream of retiring early or being able to retire at all? Do you know that you should invest but don't know where to start? If you answered yes to any of the above questions, you've come to the right place. Hey guys, I'm Lise Garcia and welcome to the Crypto Fiend YouTube channel. Today we're diving into the topic of investing. The world of finance can be extremely intimidating, but I firmly believe that the stock market and greater financial world won't seem so complicated once you learn some of the lingo and major concepts. Investing, however, is not a get-rich-quick scheme. Taking control of your personal finances will take work. And yes, there will be a learning curve, but the rewards will far outweigh the required effort. Contrary to popular belief, you don't have to allow banks, bosses, or investment professionals to push your money in directions that you don't truly understand. After all, no one is in a better position than you are to know what's best for you and your money. So let's get started. First things first, what is investing? This is actually pretty simple. Investing means putting your money to work for you. Essentially, it's a different way to think about how to make money. Growing up, most of us were taught that you can earn an income only by getting a job and working. And that's exactly what most of us do. There is one big problem with this. If you want more money, you have to work more hours. However, there's a limit to how many hours a day we can actually work. And not to mention the fact that having a bunch of money is really no fun if we don't have the leisurely time to enjoy it. You can't really duplicate yourself to increase your working time. So instead, you need to send an extension of yourself, your money, to work. And that way, while you're putting in hours for your employer or mowing your lawn, sleeping, reading the paper, or socializing with friends, you can also be earning money elsewhere. Quite simply, making your money work for you maximizes your earning potential whether or not you receive a raise, decide to work overtime, or look for a higher paying job. There are several types of investments you can choose from. Let's go over some of the most common ones. Most popular is stocks. When you purchase stocks, or equities, as your advisor might put it, you become part owner of the business. This entitles you to vote at the shareholders' meeting and allows you to receive any profits that the company allocates to its owners. These profits are referred to as dividends. Then there's bonds. The term bond is commonly used to refer to any securities that are founded on debt. When you purchase a bond, you're lending out your money to a company or the government. And in return, they agree to give you interest on your money and eventually pay you back the amount that you lent out. The main attraction of bonds is their relative safety. If you're buying bonds from a stable government, your investment is virtually guaranteed or risk-free. The safety and stability, however, comes at a cost. Because there's little risk, there's a little potential return. And as a result, the rate of return on bonds is generally lower than other securities. There's also mutual funds. A mutual fund is a collection of stocks and bonds. When you buy mutual funds, you're pooling your money with a number of other investors, which enables you, as part of a group, to pay a professional manager to select specific securities for you. Mutual funds are all set up with a specific strategy in mind, and their distinct focus can be nearly anything. Large stocks, small stocks, bonds from governments, bonds from companies, stocks and bonds, stocks in certain industries, and beyond. The primary advantage of a mutual fund is that you can invest your money without the time or the experience that's often needed to choose a sound investment. Theoretically, you should get a better return by giving your money to a professional than you would if you were to choose the investments yourself. So you now know about the two basic securities, equity and debt, better known as stocks and bonds. While many, if not most, investments fall into one of these two categories, there are numerous alternative vehicles, which represent the most complicated types of securities and investing strategies. The good news is that you probably don't need to worry about alternative investments at the start of your investing career. They're generally high-risk, high-reward securities that are much more speculative than plain old stocks and bonds. Yes, there is an opportunity for big profits, but they require some specialized knowledge. So if you don't know what you're doing, you could get yourself into a lot of trouble. Experts and professionals generally agree that new investors should focus on building a financial foundation before they begin speculating. Now let's talk about building a diversified portfolio. Diversification is the practice of spreading your investments across different asset classes to reduce your risk. 
By not putting all your eggs in one basket, you can protect your portfolio from significant losses if one investment performs poorly. A well-diversified portfolio might include a mix of stocks, bonds, real estate, and other assets tailored to your risk tolerance and your investment goals. An easy way to think of a portfolio is to imagine a pie chart whose portion each represents a type of vehicle to which you have allocated a certain portion of your whole investment. The asset mix you choose according to your aims and strategy will determine the risk and expected return of your portfolio. After taking everything into account, here are some essential tips for beginner investors. Start early. The sooner you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. Educate yourself. Take the time to learn about different types of investments and how they work. Set clear goals. Determine your investment objectives, whether it's saving for retirement, buying a house, or building wealth. Stay consistent. Regularly contribute to your investments, even if it's a small amount. And be patient. Investing is a long-term game, and it's important to stay the course even during market fluctuations. If you invest to gain, you do stand to lose. So prepare your risk tolerance and read the news to keep up with the market trends. Using these steps and doing proper research, you should be well on your way to build an amazing foundation for your financial future. To wrap things up, investing is a powerful tool to grow your wealth and achieve your financial goals. By understanding the basics, exploring different types of investments, and building a diversified portfolio, you'll be well on your way to becoming a successful investor. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more investing tips and financial advice. Have questions or topics you want us to cover? Drop a comment below. And don't forget to join our Telegram group for more resources and tools to help you on your investing journey. Thanks for watching and happy investing.